Hello, hello, this is Deborah Razzo. I'm the founder of the Women's Real Estate Network and I am here today to introduce you to a longtime REN member and a just badass real estate person is <laughs> <Marta. laughs> And I'm introducing her to you because we have secured her to speak to us on a free event that's happening on January 31st, the last day of the first month of the year. Um, she is going to be talking to us about real estate and all that green has to do with it, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, and it's interesting because I think some some people have like really gravitated gravitated towards the green scene. I, I'm curious, Azumi, how did you get into the green arena? Well, I have always been kind of a so-called environmentalist, and just because I love nature and stuff and and i think i was i was always uh curious and concerned about you know like a trash where do they go and you know so i was always kind of like in that mindset and um and then uh when i was a photographer i was an architectural photographer for for some years and i was introduced to a uh, prefab company, they hired me to shoot their products and uh, prefab homes, right? And, and this particular company, what they produce is all sustainably designed uh, LEED certified homes. And, and I didn't know anything about sustainable building. And so when I decided to get licensed as a realtor, um, you know, I, I lived on west side of LA and there's millions of real estate agents and, and I didn't want to be just another west side agent. And I wanted to have my little niche and it was a perfect fit for me. You know what, you mentioned something in there um, called, about LEED certified homes. And I, I got to tell you, prior to meeting you, I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> so why don't you, yeah, okay. <laughs> so why don't you give everybody here who maybe doesn't have an education in that, right? About what that means. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So lead is um a leadership and environment and oh I don't know what the, the next uh environment and Mm. Oh, I have to look it up. I'm sorry, That's but okay. it's L-E-E-D, -E -E yeah. Leadership and Environment, and another E, Design. And this has been around for probably 30 years or so. And most of it was to certify the buildings to their sustainability elements. And they it's a very comprehensive uh, program where it, it takes a lot of admin work for when you're building a building, you know, you have to follow certain protocols, whether it's the material or location and the energy uh, efficiency level. And, and it, it LEED is one of the most uh, established uh, certification program, I would say. But these days there's so many different certifications out there. And um, I, I will be talking about that certification uh, when I do the presentation. Right, you know, because mm -hmm. um, I think, you know, what people need to know is that lead homes are not just like solar, you know, like it's just not one thing. It's not just solar, mm -hmm. putting solar on your home. It's not just- No, no, no. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's a lot of um, boxes that need to be checked to exactly be certified for a home yeah. now i know yeah. that you've been involved in renovations that mm -hmm. have you know chosen to go eco-friendly right mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. and i'm curious because i think with a lot of renovators you know they're hesitant because mm -hmm. it's it's more expensive sometimes right i mean that's okay. debatable oh, oh good good <laughs> Okay, well, that, yeah. that, that's my perception, right? Exactly. That's exactly. My perception is that it's a mm -hmm. little more expensive, and so mm -hmm. you know, is it worth it? So mm -hmm. tell me, you know, your thoughts. Great question, Deborah. Um, so it, it's a myth that, you know, building green is more expensive, and maybe ten years ago it may have been true, but today. Um, you know, it's if you're doing a good job of building a home, you would be you would be buying quality materials, anyways. So, you know, if you if you are really looking at the quality of your building materials, it's not so much more expensive. There are some appliances and things like that that might have higher sticker price, 
but then you can offset that with another element of what I'm going to talk about in my presentation is that there are incentives, financial incentives. You know, there are tax credit, there are rebates, uh, there are, you know, depending on where you are, the utility companies have different programs that would give you some some incentives. So, so you know, it's it's not it, it's it's a myth that it's more expensive to build. Well, we we've already started myth busting. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you yeah. are a woman out there and you're interested in green and you want to be, you know, ecology conscious in whether you're rehabbing or building ground up or you know mm -hmm. renovating your own house, right? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. you want to come to this event. It is January 31st, Wednesday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go to renpowerhour.com. It's free it's a free event you know it's an opportunity <laughs> for you not to only get to know what Ren is about but also get to know what you know get to get some great advice from somebody who's been working in the um in the industry um i want to mention one one more thing because i think this is this appeals to a lot of people i hear you're bringing a case study mm -hmm. okay so yes. i love case studies i'm a huge yeah. fan of case studies because yeah. i really like to see like i like to see mm -hmm. the pictures i like to see the numbers i like to see how it goes are you are you, are you doing all that <laughs> mm -hmm. so i would warn you that visually um i'm just going to call it green homes for the lack of um, complexity of a lack of better word because you know there it, there's so many shades of green so, so many elements and all that stuff so it's not so simple but a lot of what we consider green features uh not like you can't see it because it's inside the walls it's it's you know under the house or it's the system so you don't like you don't see a pretty picture of oh this is a green thing you know so i will have some pictures and uh, obviously but um just so you know that you're not going to be looking at a beautiful something different that's you know that's green and and th that's the beauty of it and that's I, I, actually I feel like a challenge be quoting that famous muppet carrier a muppet character it's not easy being green <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. That's wonderful. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, and you know, I think that you are going to come prepared for people to have resources too. Like if they want to look into some of this stuff. Mm -hmm. I have, I have, I, I have some really good resources. I mm -hmm. love it. I love it. Yeah. All right. So uh, once again, join us on Wednesday, January 31st for our REN Power Hour. Sign up at RENPowerHour.com. Get the details there. The Zoomy, I can't <laughs> wait to see you and hear your presentation. Considering <laughs> Thank you, you for are having my course for green. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> I'm looking great. forward Thank to it. Thank you, guys. Too. We'll see you all Thank you. Later. Yay. Okay, we're out. <laughs>